and welcome folks, welcome to, well, my um, two year anniversary video. A few days ago, I think it was March 15th, two years ago I started YouTube. Now, it's been one hell of a journey. It, I've done, it's helped me a lot and in many ways it's, I've made a lot of new friends. I've done so, so much with my life just by doing this. I'm not, not where I wanted to be, well... I say I'm not where I wanted to be. I never expected to be where I am, but um, in two years, my channel—I didn't think—I didn't think it grew much. I didn't mind that because I just like doing it. It was just a thing to do. I mean, the, what I'm going to say in this video really is just going to be how I started YouTube and how what happened on the journey of those two years. Now, a lot of you may know I have damp, which basically means my. In the short, it's my brain wires differently, but sometimes I still I do things inappropriately and don't realise they're inappropriately. Or I don't, I can't do things that other people do, and it makes life a bit difficult. I have to. Um, it's not bad. It just doesn't mean it's not all bad, but it means that uh, I forget things. I don't, you know, if um, say if something simple like washing up, uh, I won't, I won't always remember to do something or that, and it gets really frustrating. And, I end up having to use lists, so something like this. Just something silly like this, and it seems silly, but um, I need this to be able to remember everything, otherwise some, most of the time I end up forgetting it. Like yesterday, I ended up forgetting my bus pass, and I had to walk home. But anyway, going back to the two years, when I started YouTube, to be fair, I was, I was not really, I didn't have a lot of friends, I was isolated. And it had been the really bad time I'd just come by because the December before it, I'd uh, just been mugged. And I was in my room a lot anyway at the time, so just being mugged kept me in the house a lot more. I was always in my room and I was always doing stuff. And I started watching YouTube again because I was, we used to watch it at school, but I wouldn't, didn't watch games then. I was more like watching music and stuff like that. But I started watching YouTube and I thought, I'll look at some games, because I remember thinking I was still playing Jack and Daxter at this point, and there was one power cell I remember never being able to get, which is the one in the Volcanic Crater. But I watched a Let's Play of Jack and Daxter, and I didn't know about Let's Play back then, and I thought, oh, this is really cool. And I remember thinking, you know, I like this kind of thing. And I thought, what game? What You know, I wonder if there's any other like So I thought, sort of one of my favourite games, Dark Cloud. And I found a Let's Play Dark Cloud by someone called Nick Scubbert 6 who a lot of you that are watching my channel know, of course. But I watched his playthrough of it, and something he said struck me. He said, it's, I think of a Let's Play not as just, you know, I'm showing you what to do, but it's, it's a journey along, and I'm taking you with me. And something about that just, it stuck a point with me. And I, start, I thought, I could do this, and I thought I'd really enjoy to do this. I really enjoyed to actually try and record it, and I just start, like I said, I started it for fun. So I started recording, and this is where things got interesting, because my, I have really poor organisation skills due to my, my uh, Dump Syndrome. So when I started, I used to go on scripts. This was, I think, the first few episodes of Super Mario 64, and I sounded so boring. I look back and I think, because I was going script, I was going half scripted, so I was, so most of the stuff I was saying, I was trying, I was saying I can't say that, I can't say that, I can't say that. For example, I thought, I can't swear, I can't say anything about that, I can't say anything about that. And it just restricted me so much because I was so afraid I was going to screw up. And shortly after this, um, Necro actually did a Red Nose Day stream, and he'd announced it, and I thought, yeah, this guy's really cool, I'll go to the stream. And it was this Red Nose Day stream that kind of kicked a lot off for me. And a lot off for a few other people as well. And during the stream, I was enjoying it. And we had a tag. And I remember the tag, you got to £751. Because we were trying to get raised £1,000. And at this point, I had a lot of money at the time. Which I don't anymore. But it's my fault. It doesn't matter about that. But I remember thinking... This is something I can do because I remember as a kid I always liked doing helping people and I thought this is the one time I can do something good for charity and help her out. So I went to the, to the donation page and I looked at the amounts and there were one that said 10, 25, 50 and 250. And I thought, I've got the money, you know what, screw it, let's help her make the target. And I put £250 in and 
a few minutes later, the stream exploded. I had people, I had remember saying, my mate saying, we've just shot someone's donated 250 pounds. I remember them saying, gone games, um, just a donated 250 pounds, and Necro was, he was just a, stunned, I think. And a lot of people were stunned, and I was trying to get message them in the chat because they were saying, who are you? Who is this game? And I'd read message them in the chat, and if you see in the video, which I may link in the description of Necro, as you see where it happened, kind of. But, in the, the chat kind of broke down, and the thing is, I started going to streams after that, and a few people said, well, you know, thank you, well done, and it made me feel really good. Not just because I've just, you know, I've done it just to get the attention, but it was more to do with, I've done it to help others, and it was, you know, the thing, thank you for doing that. Anyway, the next few streams, I met a few people, and this was when my channel was started growing a bit. I think I got to about 25-ish, and the first few people that subscribed to me, and these guys are awesome, I remember, they, they all helped me in a certain way, I mean, there was Real Danger, there was Loopney Third, there was the Leviathan, there was Mr. Lightman, now I don't see much of Mr. Lightman, but the thing is, I started a Resident Evil video because I seen Necro do it and I thought, yeah, I could do that. That sounds like a good thing. And at this time, and I feel really bad for this because I think it was time to go for a phase of copying what I was seeing. And my laptop, I got a laptop, and my laptop is really, really crap. It's a 1.6 gigahertz processor solo. No, sorry, 1.7 gigahertz processor solo. It's got one eight gig of RAM and a terabyte hard drive. Now, I didn't. I thought this was didn't realize how bad this was for trying to do YouTube when I bought it, but I bought it, and I tr tried to do Resident Evil, and it lagged like hell, and I've never gone back to, I've gone back to Resident Evil once, and there is a load of, there's just times when I've tried recording stuff, and it's always lagged, and I've been so annoyed, because I wanted to do them so much, but they just didn't look right, um, anyway, going back to Resident Evil, I did Resident Evil, and I asked, I'd added Rail on Skype, and I said, do you want to do this, you know, do you want to do a commentary with me? me in it, because I, I was, and I was unsure what to do, and I, I started Resident Evil, and I played some of it a long time in school, that we had the PlayStation in my old high school, and we played it once there, twice there, but, then, this is when something, this playthrough we did, this is when something absolutely amazing happened, I started up, and I started the Skype call, and I didn't have a script, and I realised I didn't have a script, and I was starting to panic a bit, and I thought, why not, I'll just try and go with it, and that's when it happened, I was just able to adapt to the, the game, and no script, no problem, and they just went, as soon as it went 3, 2, 1, it just flowed. I had no, no there were no plans, no nothing, it was just all organised in my brain, just without even thinking, just ready to come straight off, and that for me is amazing, and I'm doing, just by doing this, I've unlocked this talent, and I know I keep looking away and I'm trying not to, but I do, I do this all the time now, and it's in my videos, and it's in my college work, it's in the writing, and I know that some of my friends have trouble actually starting a video and then going straight off, and I seem to be able to do it, and it's it was just an amazing thing. But as time went on, I did other stuff, I did videos with Loopney, I did a Resident Evil the video Loopney third. I did some streams, which didn't always go that way. I argued with someone called, I got some stuff because someone called Diana, I got to... Uh, some software that helped me do Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog because I needed to test it and we kind of argued a bit after that but and then there was just all these people suddenly helping me and it was just it felt so good and just to have all these friends that are just accepting me for who they are and I don't think they knew about what I had then but they still seemed to accept them. they knew I had something and then I asked uh, I needed thumbnails or something and I asked, I asked uh, Leviathan and he said yeah I'll do some thumbnails yeah here you go and I still, those are the fun days when we're doing ones, and it was just, just getting this help from all these people. Now at this point, I was at about 45 subscribers. This is towards halfway through the first year, I think. And I think another condition I had, and thinking how much I'd suffer with it, there was a dump page on Facebook, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a video about that. So I, I made a video explaining the condition and trying to raise awareness for it, and I couldn't believe how many views that I got. It's got... It's still the highest view, highest most popular video on my channel, and it's got 500 and odd views now. And that just blew my mind. It just completely, it was amazing, because the, the thing is, what came next was even better, because for some reason, helping people or guiding people just makes me feel stronger. And, and I'm not saying that 
I don't mean to make it sound egotistical or make it sound, yeah, I'm going to, if making you, make a new thing makes me feel better. It just makes me feel good because I know I'm helping somewhere else. But when this video, I had parents that had children with damp and children, and adults, young adults with damp, commenting on that and emailing me, asking, you know, for the guidance. And I was able to help so many people with just this one video and I kept going on to other things. And I kind of hit a rock part of this part. I, I, I couldn't really, didn't really have time to upload stuff and I felt really bad. And it still feels really bad now because I've just had to take a break. But going going on towards the end of it, Necro did another scream and this is when Necro started feeling a bit bad and I couldn't really contact him as much and I wish I could have but I tried to um, I tried cheer him up. I remember putting a post on his uh, Facebook page saying, you know, dude, it doesn't matter about what people think, just remember you were the person who built the Chronicle Sword from Dark Cloud without the Broken Dagger Cheat and that was a silly thing to do I think. But I just wanted to make him feel better because the guy had helped me in so many ways and he didn't even realise. My confidence, since I started YouTube, my confidence had grown so, so much. It it just been amazing. I'd started talking to outside col out into people at college and things just took off. So then we started hitting towards the second year to, to, after this. So, what, sorry, I've missed a part there. So Nico started feeling bad and then we started... I start. I think he started feeling better, and I don't know if I know. I don't. I don't think it was anything to do with me, and I know there was a few people out there that helped him get back on balance, which I'm going to talk about now because those guys have done so much to help not just me but a lot of other people. But these 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 initial four people. I mean, when I, there was one point when I was really down because I think it was about this girl, and I was talking to real about it. And she just helped me bring me back up, and she she just was so understanding about it. And I hope that those point I I hope those points that when I could talk back to her, and you know if she ever needed points, and I hope if there is any points, I can talk to you and rail and help you out. But it just it was I know it sounds I keep saying it, but it was just amazing to have nothing to go for nothing and be so isolated to have these group of friends that were just accepting me for as I am. And then it st then this is when someone called LP Marshall, Supersonic HDM, the Purple Ronnie, the Angry Gaz, and Doodle, and Zen, they started streaming. And this is when things got interesting. Necro started cheering up a bit after that. And I'm not saying it's bad that you're down, Necro. I really don't mean that. I, I really wish you the best. I'm glad you're right back up now. But they started streaming. From they Necro done stream, and they said they'll come to stream. So I went to that stream, and this is when things really blew up. I'd, I'd stopped growing by then, I think I was stuck at around about 100 mark, I still am, and I began talking to them, and they, you know, they found out what I had, and they were still so accepting of it, and we had so much laughs, and the thing is, their streams grew and grew and grew, and there's so many people now that go to their streams, and this, we've still got such a big group, and it's, it's, <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional, it's just, being in that stream and all those people, just being able to just talk to them and just, just being able to say, yeah, I've got this, and just being able to act yourself in that stream was just everything to me at the time. And they added me on Facebook and they talked to me and I explained what I got and explained what I've been through and they was just so supportive. I mean, Ronnie was saying, you know, we've all got stuff to 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 have on our shoulders and you know we're fine with it. At the end of the day, you're you, and it just. It meant so much to me just being there, and I don't know, uh, I'm trying not to go emotionally, but at this time as well, from doing YouTube and doing this far, I started a new course at college doing level 2 IT, and this is where I met, I'm, I'm sorry I keep crossing like the subjects, but this is kind of chronological, so at this time during the streams of Ronnie and that lot, I, two, I, met, I started level 2 IT, and this was last year in September. No, sorry, not last year, the year before last year in September. So this is kind of midway through my second year, f first year, kind of. It's hard to explain, really, it's weird. It was through my first year of YouTube, but it was nearing the second year, because it's, when I think about it, it's, it's really hard, because I finished, I finished my first year last March, and that, so it was kind of my first year, so I'm going a bit out of Bear with me, folks, I'm an idiot, I know. But... I met two people, I met a people, person in my class called Danny. Uh, 
I'm gonna, Daniel Roberto Panedo Cardoso da Costa. That's a long name, but he's a really good guy. And you may have seen him in some of my videos, Danny X. But we start. I, st I I would have never talked to him because I was sat on the other side of the classroom, and um, there were some other people that called uh, Aiden and Matthew. And I had him start talking about YouTube and said, oh, you do YouTube and I do YouTube. And it was this conversation that got me talking to him and ended up sitting next to him. And we ended up getting on so much and we ended up doing something. And now he's one of my best friends and he's helped me so much. Now, in English, I was talking to someone else called Kamal, who I also would also have done stuff. Well, not done YouTube, but he'd also been interested in that kind of stuff. And we, talk, we talked about stuff and we, got, we again got on like house and found we found similar tricks. Now, between the three of us... We all had problems, and I'm not. I'm not going to say too much about those problems, just in case they, those guys don't want you know to you know don't reveal too much. But we all found we had difficulties, and we all found as a group we could pull together and just get get along so well. And them, them, just them two being there has has helped me more than I I've ever thought would have been helped. My confidence has grown. I mean, I'm still really nervous at talking to new people, and I don't know why, but I was able to do things I never got to do. I remember last year. Think it, saying to them, "Oh, wouldn't it be cool if we went to Comic Con? Oh, you want wouldn't it be cool to come and to Comic Con?" And said, "Why don't we go?" And then it, it became a thing, and it was it was just this thing, and I, I just started planning it, and it, that's when it dawned on me, like this is real, you know, these guys are real. They they're here for me, all they're here for me, and they're actually, you know, they care about me, and I try to be there for them, and I still am, and every day I try to be there for them, and as much as I try to be there for anybody else, I I keep going back and saying. And I do try help people as much as I can. And if, for instance, if Danny came up for me at four o'clock in the morning saying, I need help, this is really doing it, I'd get up and I'd talk to him. But from these two people, these just only two people, just helping me so much, saying, do you want this, do you want that? They, they help me with confidence, they, they help me get a girlfriend, which I'm not with anymore. But these, I don't think they know how much they've done. I was able to talk to them, I was able to get out of the house, I was doing things, I was meeting them up on a weekend, we was going places, we, it was it was just amazing. I mean, then the Comic Con thing happened, and that was even more so amazing, because it was like, this, it was it was just like, um, do you want to do this? And, because um, I said, wouldn't it be cool if we went to Comic Con? And I went, yeah, and I went, why do, and, and I just said joking, why don't we go? Because I thought, we're never going to go, and it's never going to happen. And then it just happened, we started looking at ticket prices, we started planning, I talked to my mum about it, my mum found about it, and we ended up going. And we ended up meeting the, some of the people that I'd met on the stream that had, you know, accepted me, they went me necro, and I was really nervous because I have this thing sometimes where if I'm building myself up too much for something, I get really, really nervous and I start panicking. And as soon as I start panicking, I need to get out of there because I just can't talk. It's with a lot of things, really. I don't know if it's part of my condition, but if I if I if I get nervous about something, if, as soon as I start panicking, I, my brain just shuts down and I can't deal with it. So if I'm trying to do something and I can't do it fast enough, I'll start panicking and it'll just go screwed up. But um, yeah, going back to the stream after that. But these. These rock everyone, and they build this kind of community in this family that we anybody can come into the streams and we can talk, just be the cells and just be accepted. And I've got it's it's just amazing how much that. And Ronnie, if you're listening, you should be really proud of Liam because just by doing these streams, he's built this this community, this family where we all are. And there's so many of us now, and I'm due to meet some of them again this year on Comic Con and I, I stay with them again. I'm, I mean, there's Leon, there's, there's, there's Sherry, there's, there's Gary, there's Ronnie, there's Lupin, there's Levy, there's, there's Doodle, there's Zen, there's Necro, there's Kirsten. There's so many people, there's a quack. I can't even name half all of them. But the one thing that really stood out from the stream is when we went to Comic Con last year, Necro met someone. And he, stood, he, doesn't, he just didn't just meet any someone, he met Kirsty And this. This person was the probably the best thing for him, and I've never seen. I mean, I've not known him very long. I've known him for like two years, but I've never seen him so happy lately. And people have been having to go and saying, "Why haven't you put videos?" You know, she take it. Just shut up, dudes. I've never seen the guy so happy, and he deserves every minute of it. He's done. It, you know, he's been through. Everybody's been so much, and just she was there for him. She's cheered him up, and she's they both deserve each other. They're both brilliant people. But going into the stream now, we're all part of this group, this 
this massive group that just accepts each other and for no matter what happens, you can, I mean, in the streams you can have a laugh and in my case you can get very drunk and then everybody laugh at you, but it's all good fun. It's just, you can be yourself again, you not, cannot feel like, you know, you don't have to hide it, you don't have to be, oh, I don't want to be accepted so I'm going to act differently, you can just be yourself and you'll be accepted because... I've always wanted something like this. I've always wanted friends that I could just talk to. I've always, it's it's just amazing. I mean, a few two years ago, I was sit, I'd be sitting probably. I mean, I'm sitting in my room now, which is kind of its purpose. But I'd be sitting in my room every day, just playing games or something like that. Now every weekend, I'm I'm just going to my mum. I'm going. Oh, Danny and Kamal have asked me if I wanted to go somewhere. Can I go with them? And I'm going. And it can I can go to another. I've been to another city. I've been I've been to another town. I've been. It's just amazing, and for someone with my condition, it blows my mind. And someone to be, and just not just confidence, but be able to come up so much as a person and help so many people with my condition. It just it means so much to me. And there's a hundred and eleven of people that may or may not watch this video, but I'm trying. And the thing is, with my laptop, I'm limited, and I hate the fact that I'm limited. And I wish I'd got a better laptop. But I will continue to try and make videos because it 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 just makes me happy in a way. It's it sounds selfish to say I don't know if it sounds selfish or not, but it makes me really happy to do it. I enjoy doing it. It's something I feel like I'm helping others so much in a way. And I might make more damn videos. I might not make 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 more vlogs. But I don't always get time, and I had to take a break because I was literally getting up at six o'clock in the morning every morning just to record videos. And my voice just starting to go, I don't know why. But I go I am gonna keep trying and I'm gonna to try to go better and when I'm gonna I'm gonna meet all these fantastic, wonderful people that have just been there for me, have been there for Emeco, have been there for everybody. And for though I know some of you may be watching and I just wanna say thank you so much. You have no idea how much you've helped me in so many ways. I mean, the damp video, I remember my mum saying, I'm really proud of you for that, you've done really well with it and I felt I need to really cut this video off soon, but just seriously, thank you, everybody that's put up me for the last two years, everybody that's been there, everybody said that, said you're all right, gone, and it's, it really makes me really happy. <laughs> it really does. So I'm gonna get off now. I'm probably gonna do another announcement video when I get the tickets to Comic Con, because as far as I know, I might be staying in a hotel with uh, Leon and a few other people. But I've been Gun Games. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I'm gone.